Okay, uh, math for college just builds off the previous lesson. We're going to write equations again, this time for parallel and perpendicular lines. As we have in the notes, it says the following lines are parallel. What do you notice about the equations for the lines? So all these equations have something in common, and if you said that the slope is equal to 2 or the slope is the same, you are correct. Slope is the same for parallel and perpendicular or for parallel lines. So given that information, it says write an equation for a line that's parallel to the given line and passes through the given point. First write the equation in point slope form. Y minus Y1 is equal to M times X minus X1. And place it in the slope intercept form and graph it. So every time we write an equation for a line, we need slope and a point. It says that this line passes through 1, 4, and it's parallel to this guy. Well, if it's parallel to y equals negative 3x plus 1, the slopes are the same. So the slope will be negative 3. So I have y minus 4 is equal to negative 3 times x minus 1. Or y minus 4 is equal to negative 3x plus 3. So I add the 4. y equals negative 3x plus 7. Now, if I graph them both, it should appear that they're parallel. The first one, I plot 1. I go down 3 and over 1. And this is my first line. My second line starts up at 7. And then down 3 and over 1. And you can see that they are, in fact, parallel. This example, I need slope and I need a point. You have the point, it's 2, 3. In order to determine the slope, we first must take this and place it into slope intercept form. x plus 2y is equal to 4. I will subtract the x. 2y is negative x plus 4. And then I divide by 2. y is negative 1 half x plus 2. That tells me the slope will be negative 1 half. You can now write y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y minus 3 equals negative 1 half times x minus 2. As we distribute, y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x. When you distribute negative 1 half to negative 2, remember when you multiply two negatives, it becomes positive. And 1 half of 2 is 1. We add the 3. We get y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 4. And there you have it. That line is parallel to the original one. I'm not going to graph it just for the sake of time. We'll move over, and now let's talk about perpendicular. Turns out that these two lines are perpendicular. If you notice, their slopes are different. These two lines are perpendicular. Their slopes are different. These two lines are perpendicular. Their slopes are different. And in these two lines, they are perpendicular. Their slopes are different. But how are they different? If you look at negative 2 fifths and 5 halves, the slopes are what we call opposite because it's the difference between plus and minus, reciprocals, because you have 1 over something, or you flip it upside down. So in order to determine per perpendicular lines, you find the opposite reciprocal of the slope. So look at this situation. It says write an equation for a line that's perpendicular to the given line and passes through the given point. Again, whenever you write equations for lines, you find the slope, and you find a point. Our point is negative 1, 1. The slope is the opposite reciprocal of 1 third. The opposite reciprocal is negative 3 over 1. So negative 3 is going to be the slope for our new line. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Or y minus 1 
equals negative 3 times x plus 1. y minus 1 equals, I distribute my negative 3, negative 3x minus 3. Add 1, y equals negative 3x minus 2. So look at what we have. If I were to graph negative 3x minus 2, I would go down 3 and over 1. And this is my line. If I graph the original one, 1 third x plus 1, go up 1, and then 1 third, I would rise 1 and run 3. And if you look, does it appear that those are perpendicular? Perpendicular means they meet at a 90 degree angle. And it sure looks like they do. Our last example, again, perpendicular line, we identify the slope and the point. Passes through the point 6, 0. In order to identify the slope, I must first place that into slope intercept form. I subtract 2x. I get negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. Divide by negative 3. And I get y is 2 thirds x minus 2. So what's the opposite reciprocal of 2 thirds? It's negative 3 over 2. y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Notice my y value is 0, so it would just be y equals negative 3 over 2 times x minus 6. Distribute the negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves x. And then negative times a negative will be positive. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 3 is 9. So that is the equation for the line that is perpendicular. So there you have it. Parallel lines, same slope. Perpendicular lines, opposite reciprocal slopes. Hope that helps. Um, sorry for the confusion on the videos. Hopefully this helps you get uh, started. We'll go over questions tomorrow. Can't wait to see you.